what is up you guys so today as you can see I'm grinning I'm grinning because today's the day you guys probably all been waiting for I know I've been waiting for it today the time is gonna change so it's gonna be pretty dope uh, I'm gonna have more time to do stuff after work but also today I'm gonna put the white body on hopefully get it cut and have it ready with the wheels and everything good to go but we'll see how that goes you know how it is so let's start this off with mocking it up put in the holes put in the body kit on before I start cutting that way I can see where I need to cut so I also wanted to give a big shout out to all you subscribers right now that you guys subscribe to this channel thank you so much it means a lot to me and if you haven't already smash that subscribe button so you could keep on following this WRX and my and my content should be pretty dope uh, to after today I'm a uh, be really in love with this thing so let's jump into it all right so first things first let's mock up the front since I got these side markers I'm gonna remove that first all right so what I'm gonna do is put tape blue tape all along here that way I know what line I'm gonna use and mark it up so I know what to cut. Alright, so let's start making these holes. Alright, so I got it. Where I like it, where it's lining up good with the body. So, to start off now, I'm gonna be using these cell taps. This is the size. That's the size. Then, after that, I'll buy either the well nuts, the right size, or just go with rivets. I still haven't made up my mind, so for now, this hole will be. Um, Either way, the rib nuts or the well nuts are going to be bigger. Let me start off with these self taps. Alright, there it is. Pulling on it. It's all good. So now I'm going to do the holes for all the other body panels. I'll show you a real quick clip of that. Alright, so now I'm done with all the holes on the body kit. So now let's put the other front side on and then I'll start working on the rear. Alright, so I already taped up this side. I took off the side marker as well. So now I'm gonna mock it up and do the same thing I did on the other side. Alright, so I'm liking this fitment right here. Now it's time to do the same thing and drill into it. Let's get it. Alright, so this side fits just as good. Let's check it out. crazy how they even got like these curves with it so it looks it looks really good it lines up with the body and all the way from the top bam right there but I think I'm gonna do the cutting on the next video and just install them right now so I could get started on this side over here but I'll see how much time I get. Alright, so this shit is coming out sick. I'm loving the way the fitment is. Um, I just can't wait to put the wheels on as well. Now I'm going to get started on the rears. Which I'm kind of scared of. Because it's going to be a lot 
harder to do the fitment with the door opening and also I had to mess around with the gas door making sure that works so the rear is going to be a little harder than the front I got this to fit the way I liked it and I'm just pushed in of course the door opens good and closes so that's good and then this door opens just good without it hitting so I'm gonna go for it right here Alright, so I didn't want to bore you guys with all the trying to find the fitment because it took me a while. But I think I finally got it. So the door opens and closes, and the line follows it all the way through. So I'm gonna give it a go. Here comes the final test. Bam. Got good fitment. Now this thing is solid. So let's jump onto the other side. All right, so now it's time to fit this side. All right, guys, I've looked at it. 50 times and I feel happy with this fitment so let's screw these things on all right so I got it all screwed in let's check out this fitment Perfect. So, here's the final product. Let me take off this tape. Here it is. I'm so happy with that gap. The side view, the fitment is amazing, I swear, like, they really took their time and effort to get this body kit just right. It's coming out so sick, like, I can't even believe it. But, now, let's throw on the wheels and see how much I gotta cut so we could do that next. Since I got the wheel off, now I'm going to sand this down a little bit, just scuff it so I can put the spacer on, then put the wheel on. Let's get into that. Alright, so I went with the 25mm spacer from h and I'll put the link down below for if you guys want to get some as well. Since my wheel is 18 by 10 by 30 I needed some spacers just to fill in the gap and hopefully I did my calculations right but right now I'm gonna just scuff, scuff the inside of it so it doesn't stick on that good. Alright now it's time to put on the wheel. And the lug nuts I'm gonna be using are the Muteki Super Tuner Nut. They're the really small ones because I didn't want nothing sticking out. I didn't, wasn't sure if I wanted a color so I just got chrome. Really small. Spot 
spot on. But let's put the back one on as well so we can see what we have to work with. So far looking clean. Also, I'm gonna add some of this thread lock onto my spacers. Well, onto my original studs. So the spacer won't ever get loose or anything like that. Since I'm not gonna be taking that off no more. Bam. And I pretty much got the fitment that I really wanted. Look at that. Of course, I don't want this much camber, so I'm still I'm still going to have to go get an alignment cuz to be honest, I really don't like camber at all. I rather have like a track stance. So this is what it's gonna look like. I don't know if you can see, but it has a little camber, so I'm gonna have to for sure get that dialed in. But besides that, that's the fitment that I really wanted. And of course, I'm gonna have to lower it more. So it's just looking pretty dope. Uh, I'm gonna just slap on the other the other side real quick, and then give you a full full 360 view of it. So this is the final look of the car. Check it out. Damn. That's it. guys so I'm gonna end the video here uh, the fitment on the wide body it's crazy good like I, I love how it looks it goes with the curves with the lines of the stock Subaru body and the wheels just honestly just complete it it makes it look so good um, next video I will be cutting out the body and that way I could drive it safely because right now I guarantee will rub if I turn or hit a ditch or anything like that so I'm not trying to do that so probably won't be driving it until I cut it but for now that's how she's gonna look so this thing looks freaking sick like I can't even believe this is my car like from a couple hours ago to this now it's it's changed a lot so next video for sure i'm gonna be cutting it then after that i'll paint the fenders i'm gonna do the same color for now please stay tuned for the next video it should be dope um if you haven't already 
hit that subscribe button so you can follow my build and check out what's next for it and if you haven't already go follow my instagram um i always put little sneak previews of it so like today i put a little tiny picture of the whole thing just so you guys can see it a little bit and the link for the wide body kit is gonna be down below and also for the wheels if you're looking for that for the spacers the tires um, i'm gonna have that all down below so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to live it's your boy tony out